Hey there, welcome to Watch Recap, and today, I will recap a drama, romance movie called, Labor Day. Okay, so let's start. The movie opens as we are introduced to a mother named Adele, who lives a happy life with her son Henry, she is a single mother as her husband Gerald left her for another woman. Gerald asks Henry to live with him always, but Henry loves his mother so much. Adele has lost her smile since the divorce. The new semester is about to start, Henry starts to collect his items and finds that his pants are short, so they go to buy new pants for him, while Adele is picking up clothes, Henry asks her to go to the comic section, at this age, Henry starts to get attracted towards adult magazine, while he is taking a look, a mysterious man comes up to him and asks for help, Frank asks Henry to give him a ride as he's injured, he takes him to his mother, Adele is suspicious of him and refuses to help, but is threatened by Frank so has to help him. He asks her to drive to her home as he has no place actually to go to. Adele tries to make him a cup of coffee while keeping a knife in her pocket, he confesses to Adele that he is a prisoner, who escaped by jumping from the second floor while undergoing an appendectomy. He decides to stay there until the evening so his injured leg recovers. He thinks of getting a ride on the train when it passes by. Adele asks him to not hurt her or Henry. Soon, they see the news on TV about Frank escaping from the prison, Frank asks Adele as if helping a person to hide is a criminal activity. Adele calms herself thinking he is here only for a few hours before running. Franks tells them that if someone comes here, then he will pretend to kidnap them so Adele will not be arrested for helping a prisoner, he ties Adele to be prepared for that, the knot is made lightly so Adele can open it herself. He then prepares meal for both Henry and Adele and even feeds her. At night, Henry wakes up and finds that Frank tied Adele with the bed so she can sleep, and himself slept downstairs. Next morning, Frank helps Adele with all the household and even fixes the stairs, he cleans the house, fixes the car engine and even repairs the furnace filter. He also teaches Henry to play baseball the better way. While Adele was sewing Frank's pants, they hear a loud knock on the door, Frank immediately makes the situation as planned and asks Henry to say that his mother is not at home. It turns out to be their neighbor who brought some peaches, and asks Henry to be careful nowadays. Frank thinks of making a pie out of those peaches. It was at this moment that they both felt safe and cared with Frank. Frank also teaches them how to bake one by one. While they are enjoying the pie, Frank gives Adele a comfort touch, she feels good and lays her head on his shoulder. But suddenly a police car passes by their house, this makes Franks realize that he have to leave the house now, but Adele asks him to stay until the wound is completely healed. The next day, Frank cleans the roof of the house, and Adele hands him a coffee. He also fixes the wooden planes of the stairs, fixes the door hinges and replaces the car tires, some regular tasks that the man of the house performs. Henry is told to go to supermarket to buy some groceries, there he meet a girl named Eleanor, who has recently moved into the town. She asks him what is fun thing to do in this town. Henry returns home but forgets to close the door. Suddenly, their neighbor Evelyn enters the house causing Henry to panic. Evelyn wants to leave her son Barry at their house as she needs to go out, Adele refuses but is forced to accept her request. As Barry is a disabled kind-hearted kid, Frank shows up, he also make him a part of their baseball game, where he teaches Adele to hit the ball, since she has tremors and is unable to hit the ball, but she is helped by Frank. At night, Barry finally sees the news about Frank on TV and is now a little scared. Evelyn comes to pick him up, Barry tries to tell Evelyn about Frank but is slapped. After this, Henry overhears Adele and Frank talking about shifting to Canada and starting a new life. Next morning, Adele asks Henry to go and borrow a book from library about Canada. In the library, Henry meets Eleanor again who tells him that she moved in this town because of her eating disorder, her parents thought it would help her. But Eleanor believes, her mother did this only because she wanted to hang out with his boyfriend. Henry shares about Frank with Eleanor, they think their story is somehow similar, Eleanor suggests Henry to get rid of Frank soon, if he not, then his mother will leave him alone for Frank. Henry is now feeling depressed thinking about what Eleanor said, he also sees the news about $10,000 prize for whoever finds Frank in the newspaper. In the evening, he goes out for dinner with his father's new family. Returning home, he sees Adele and Frank dancing together. Adele tells Henry about their plan to move to Canada. 
Thinking of what Eleanor said, Henry with tears in his eyes asks his mother if she is going to leave him for Frank. Adele hugs him and says never. Adele asks him to be quiet about them moving to Canada, they will do it without letting anyone know about it. They start packing the next morning, Frank finds their family album, Henry then goes out for a while, he spends some last moments with her friend Eleanor, he tells her about them moving to Canada tomorrow. Finding it hard to say goodbye to his only friend, she kisses Henry and leaves. Meanwhile, Adele thinks it would be difficult for Frank to walk because of his infecting wound, she goes to get some medicine for him, she also shares about her past with Frank. She and Gerald thought of having a second child after Henry but couldn't because of many miscarriages, Adele was finally not able to give birth anymore, it was then when Gerald decided to leave her. Adele says she's sorry as she can never give him a family, Frank says she already did. It was shown how Frank was a military soldier who hardly could come home, his wife Mandy cheated on him and also had a child. When Frank found out about this, he out of anger pushed Mandy which accidentally caused her death, Mandy also left the baby to drown in the bathtub. He was then imprisoned. On the day they are ready to leave, Henry secretly writes a letter to his father Gerald that he's moving to Canada. While walking, Henry was offered a ride to home by a police officer, to avoid being suspected he says yes. Reaching home, Adele is scared looking at the officer, officer asks why they have a lot of stuff in the car, Adele says they are going to dump the items they don't need anymore, Frank watches this, and hides as the police officer offers to help them. After the officer leaves, Franks asks Adele to get the money from the bank so they can move. But while Frank was in the house, Evelyn walks in, I seriously hate these type of neighbors. She brought some food to say thank you for helping her with her son Barry, she has recognized Frank as the criminal from the newspaper but acts normal, Frank knows that people know about him because of the news but still says that he's a workman who came to help with the house. Returning from the bank, Adele and Frank hears police siren coming towards their house, Frank realizes it's nothing he can do now so he starts to make it look like he kidnapped Henry and Adele so they won't be arrested. Saying a last goodbye to both of them he surrenders himself. Later, Adele and Henry goes to the prosecutor to request for Frank's punishment to be reduced as he didn't hurt them. But they are informed that this might create objections against Adele and she then might lose the custody of Henry to Gerald. Frank is sentenced to 10 years for escaping prison and 15 years for kidnapping. Adele is again feeling depressed, she herself gave the custody of Henry to Gerald, but Henry still visits her sometimes, though she don't talk to him much. As he grow older, he joined the baseball team, and have a girlfriend now, he applies what he learned from Frank in his life now. As he enters adulthood, he starts a bakery which grows successfully, he sells pies made with the recipe Frank taught him. He receives a letter from Frank, who is so proud of reading about his bakery on a magazine with his photo on it. He informs him that he will be free soon, and promises that he will keep his mother happy. Finally when he was released, he sees Adele waiting for him outside, they both look old, but the love in their eyes looks as young as it was 25 years before. This is where the movie ends, subscribe to the channel if you love movies, like and share the video, we appreciate it, see you again.